All right, YouTubers and reptile freaks. Try to make this short and sweet, but Sunday I'm cleaning some cages and I've taken a bunch of snakes out, let them crawl around the house. So here's a couple of my berms. Albino Burmese. She's probably hatched in 2012. Hypo Burmese male. He's probably three years old. Let's see who else I've got out. All those are loose. A couple of these tubs, I've got some turned loose. Let's see. My bathroom, this place is a wreck. Here's uh, my whole back female she hatched. Uh, actually, she just turned two last month. So that's a, an ultra, uh, what do you call this? Super platinum or an ultra. There's a little ball python. There's another ball python. Both those were surrendered to me. Nope. Let's see who this is. All right, Randall and Tiffany. This is a video you've been asking for forever. Here's your snake. I've got two of these that look identical and I put a little mark on him, or her actually. To, uh, so I know which one's which. But here's yours. This is where it decided to go in this sink with cold water dripping on it. There's an Antahala. Let's see who else I've got. Here's another Ultra. She's going out tomorrow. Lavender Ultra, excuse me. Here's an Ultra. He's available. Pretty chill. I think there's one behind the bed. My bed's a wreck because I let snakes crawl over it, so it's got urate stains on it until I wash it. There's my caramel girl. You gonna hiss for me? She's not going to hiss. She's really growing like crazy. Okay. Let's see who else we can find. Here's one of my keepers. This is a uh, my one-eyed hypo green. Super chill berm, never hiss, never bit, never act offensive. I'm gonna keep her, it took her a while to get started, but she's doing pretty well now. Let's see, I thought there was a ball python, yep. So here's um, one of the offspring from the two ball pythons I just showed. It's a normal female that I kept and I'm going to feed her like crazy. to see how big I can make her grow. Here's a green granite berm from uh, TK Exotics. Here's my pearl female. I think she's like four years old or something like that. Let's see what's in here. There's the uh, hole in my floor I cut for my uh, home theater that I built a long time ago. I had a, for you uh, speaker freaks and audio freaks, I had an infant baffle mounted right there. And in that baffle, it's a column. I had eight 15 inch subwoofers in it for my low levels. Oh look, there's a turd. Big turd. You can see him crawling back there. That's uh, a pearl male I have, berm. He's available. Okay, there's another snake up there. That's my 
Who is this? Oh, that's my uh, white phase genetic stripe climbing. And she's going to knock everything down. Let's see if we can see her up there. There she is. Hey, baby. Let's leave her up there. Hey, what else have I got in here? Here's a, my normal female berm that I got a couple years ago from Justice. You gonna hiss for me? Good girl. Work that lung. When I got this snake, she had a little bit of a respiratory infection, so she seems to be doing all right. What I've been trying to do lately is get these guys out more and just let them crawl around, but as you can see, some of them just coil up in one corner and that's it. So, Who else have I got? I don't think I've got anybody on top of the cabinets. There's Nantahala. She was just in the bathroom. Here's my uh, Sri Lankan python from uh, got her from a local. I've got a pair of these. Gorgeous animal. There's not too many, very many of these uh, in people's private collections. She's just crawling around. Here's a. Uh, a mocha tiger. I think she's two. Produced by Leech's Python Palace. He's on Facebook. Okay, I had an albino boa somewhere in here. I think it might be back in that corner. Usually that boa crawls back in this corner. Let's see if we can get him out or her without upsetting the Sri Lankan too much. Yep, yeah, there he is, or she. And there's my boa. Come here. Oh, come on. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.